Axim asks, Dobry den, doctor. Dobry den means uh, good day in Russian. Thank you. I played soccer from childhood through college, and I guess I had one too many headers, which necessitates neck fusion. After surgery, everything was fine for a while, and now my neck is always stiff, and I have a deep pain under my shoulder. I think you mean shoulder blade. Why is that, and what can I do about it? <laughs> so, this is a really good video, and uh, Oren, um, sorry, Maxim, this definitely has to do with what happened with you. A fused spine is not a normal spine. A normal spine is meant to move, and that's particularly an issue in the neck, in a cervical spine. Uh, there's some great evidence uh, that was originally published out of Thomas Jefferson University by Dr. Hillebrand, and since then there's been multiple reports on this issue, in that if you fuse a segment of the cervical spine, 25% of patients every 10 years will come back to have another level done. Cervical spine has a lot of motion, so when you immobilize a segment of the cervical spine, other levels see a lot more stress. In fact, immediately after spinal fusion, motion of the adjacent levels or other discs becomes altered. So, pain uh, around C5-6 or pain that's emanating from C5-6 or C6-7 will be felt under the shoulder blade. So, coincidentally, C5-6 and C6-7 are the most commonly fused segments. So, if you have a C5-6 fusion, reliably about a quarter of patients within 10 years will come back with this pain under the shoulder blade. If it's the upper part of the shoulder blade, it's C5-6. If it's the lower part, it's C6-7. So that shoulder plane pain, Maxim, most likely comes from an adjacent level. Now, don't despair. That doesn't mean that you have to have more fusion. Many patients get better with a proper injection. Uh, but if you do have to have a revision, ask your doctor about doing a disc replacement. That procedure now has a great testament of research and time, and it avoids that same issue of having adjacent level problems.